like people will make something out of none. My wife really like these bookshelves right here for books, ornaments, whatnots, or whatever you want to put on there. But we don't like that white, so we're gonna make it match her and us. But pretty much her. That's what you want me to do to this so I'm do it. We'll be back in a minute. I'll get these dying right. Two thousand years later. About ten minutes later, we got the hammered cocoa brown. I ain't it wet, but you can see I did it like that. For my special reason. I ain't got the edges. All that dark is drying up now, so we're gonna see how they're gonna turn out. See how they're gonna turn out. Uh, two thousand years later. Got a hammer finish. I drop a little coat on there. Looking pretty good. It's still drying. Let's see what a second coat drying on there. Pretty good. Got a little metallic looking finish in there. table and the house they got these colors in it I went with. see that the primer same as the cocoa brown satin rolling surf and I got some fabric paint and then I clogged up one of the browns once it got to Almost empty, so I can put the little dot effects in there. This outdoor fabric paint, Restolium. There we got it. And I did different colors and different stuff, made it turquoise a little darker. Up in there, and tested up with a little brown. It came back around. In person, you can see the effect of the metallics in the brown through that. See it a little bit. Yeah, so they're gonna look pretty neat. Just dry out. You know what y'all think? My wife, she loves it. It's her ideal. Dog got out here. Got a hold of that right quick. But yeah, so y'all stay tuned. blend in pretty good. Let y'all see what it look like once we get in, in the house. I'm always making something out of nothing. You feel me? That thing right there, y'all remember how these look? Damn, they go so good right there, right? Perfect. So I didn't need to be touched up in a way. Did away with the glass. But yeah. Detail, you see the brown dots in that too. Get that wood. 